And we're back. Day two with, I don't know, a shovel. Why not? It's good. I mean, it's gardening implement. You're able to come a night with it. Can beat Joe Pesci about that face until he's unconscious. Save Macaulay Culkin. I, I, it's a great weapon overall. I guess it was a snow shovel, technically. I don't know. Whatever. A uh, shovel's not too bad of a weapon. It's obviously not a great one. The damage leaves a little bit to be desired, and obviously, like, that's to be expected. It literally says, deadly enough weapon if applied with enough velocity. It's not supposed to be a great attacker. But what it does have is it has a pretty good upward arc in the end of that combo there. And that knocks enemies back quite a bit, something that you don't really see with many other weapons. And also, it does, you know, the pretty unique thing of being able to hit away... What do you call it? Uh, of course, I always gotta grab the heart here. It also has a pretty unique ability to hit away projectiles. Specifically the ones used by, what, pirate captains, grenadiers, and... Uh, what's your... Ah, damn it. Uh, Grenadiers, Pirate Captains, and, of course, the Mechanical Spiders. Now, obviously, since I want to get the full use, and since I'm sure everybody's sick of seeing the Sepulcher already, I'm going to be going through places that have the most of those enemies in it, which is to say, uh, the Promenade... Hey, another door. Come on. Still does nothing. Hey, big surprise. So I'm going to be hitting up the Promenade, and then I'm going to be going immediately to... Prison depths and then Fog Fjord, obviously, just as a matter of fact. I like getting that 75% because that's pretty good for the Watcher fight, but obviously, you know, it's way better the ability to have an extra life here. And that cannot be overstated considering how often that I get nearly one shotted by enemies here. It's. Hey, scroll of powers right here the entire time. Why do I feel stupid? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll do it, actually. You know, as much as I'd like to do a 100% skill run with the Crusher there, for example, because I think the Crusher is still pretty great, or at the very least pretty interesting skill item, even if it's not super good due to the frequency of how often it hits and how difficult it is to get enemies on the ground. Like, a lot of the enemies you want to hit are already in the air, or... Generally not, it's generally not as much of an issue to do a couple big hits by keeping them in one singular location, hitting them up. But anyway, skills pretty much have the one big issue, I'd say, being, not even going in there. The one big issue being that they, come on, there we go. The one big issue with skills is that they have a cooldown. And obviously, I like to be able to attack 100% of the time, all the time. That's another thing that actually came up when I tried to do a run with the repeater crossbow, where I just took a couple grenades that had the, the modifier, or what is it, uh, makes such and such amount of arrows fall from your enemy. It's like, that's pretty much the only way you're going to be able to beat bosses, as well as if you... No, no, no. Okay pretty much the only way you're going to be able to beat bosses, unless you have ungodly amounts of damage, or... Yeah, see, that that last hit is pretty good. It's got a lot of range to it. Especially upwards, which is generally where you want to be hit, which is generally, like, the hardest place to be able to hit things. But yeah, uh, bosses, or if you screw up and hit enemies without killing them too many times. Elites, obviously, that comes up with two, because they have their... Because hmm. elites have their own ability to create ads, which... Wow, that was a good dodge. <laughs> elites have the ability to create ads, which will get in, in front of your arrows constantly, blah, blah, blah. It's, and then you gotta wait for the cooldown to happen, and... I don't know if I want to upload it or kind of save it for a... Like... Oh, come on! bloopers and practical jokes sort of video, but like, that repeater crossbow as well as one that I did just trying to do it with a regular flame grenade did actually go to, oh boy, did actually go to the, um, watcher fight, so it's like, it's 
most of the way to a real run, but then I just kind of got tired and started playing badly and then died almost immediately. And then died almost immediately after that started happening, which is, I think, in both runs in the third phase. I don't know. If anybody actually watches this video, throw down in the comments if you would want to see that or if you want to just throw that up at some point. <laughs> the other thing that I have a couple runs of is doing cursed sword things. Uh, try and do one with a cursed sword, which pretty much ended... What, the second I got into the sepulcher one time? Aha, good stuff, good stuff. And then once where I got just barely clipped by the damage field the, the incomplete one was putting out, which frustrated me to no end because, ah, oh, it's... Oh, I hate that damage field. And I was probably like three hits away from killing him. Not that it would have gotten much easier. I think like the fog... Hey, an elite. As always, I like to kill elites in this. Okay, he's moving a little too fast. I'm out of here. <laughs> Ah, uh, if you get a three-hit combo there, he's going to be stunned, and then it's not going to be an issue to kill him. But if that's going to... Oh, this is not going great right now, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that for free. Oh, jeez. Everybody get out of the way. <laughs> By the way, you see how good it is to hit away... To... Come on. <laughs> to hit away projectiles there. Oh, that is super helpful. I probably would have died there if I didn't have that because the close quarters, close quarters with the uh, mechanical spiders are pretty much a death sentence every. Yeah, a pretty much death sentence every single time. This is still a tough area. Period. I don't. I. I would still go with like yeah. What was I saying? Fog Fjord is one of the hardest areas in the game just because of the amount of enemies and. No! No! Ah! Oh. And I saw it coming too. Alright, well, that's why I get the heart. That's why you uh, get the heart. But yeah, Fogfjord, hardest area. A lot of enemies packed in there, and I don't like dealing with uh, pirate captains, because they do a lot of damage, and you hit you from a pretty... Oh, that's actually a decent one, too. Hit you from pretty far away. Obviously, if I had any, like... Come on. Be shy here, Mechanical Spidey. Uh, speaking of spiders, you know they had that update for Hollow Knight. A game that I wanted to do a few videos of, but then didn't for reasons that are kind of even unknown to myself. Like, I beat the regular game, and then I... Oh boy! No, 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 no. <laughs> Get away from me. Like, I beat the regular game, and then I beat the game on Steel Soul mode, and I was like... When starting both of those, I was like, eh, maybe I should make a series about that. I would kind of go hand in hand with this whole, with like the whole shtick that this game is, hit him, there, with the whole shtick that this game is doing, but uh, I didn't. <laughs> I ain't no talking about uh, having kind of a pure challenge run here, I don't, well, <laughs> I don't think there's anything more pure than having literally nothing else than just a shovel. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty sad. Like, aside from that point where I died there, which is... Really should not have happened, let's be honest here. I'm feeling pretty confident in this run so far. Ah. See, that is a lot of range you get off that combo hit. I love it. But yeah, I already have three health, which is pretty decent. For not, like, actually purposely taking any health. And then, uh... Six... Six damage, I'll probably get at least one more... Oh no! Yerk! <laughs> oh. This game can be so high stress sometimes. But yeah, I'll probably get at least one more um, strength. Come on. Oh, right into it, too. I'll probably get at least one more strength up before the end of this. Alright, Goomba Stomp time. Yeah, there we go. You're having trouble with uh, mechanical spiders, you get a decently level shovel. You'll be taking care of them like nothing. If you... Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that is why those guys are the, the, the worst. I, I'm not even backing down from that. The exact same thing that I said in the last video. They are the worst. All right, get over here, spider. Whatever, it's over now. I'm not even exploring anymore. I don't even care. Ugh. 
Yeah, needless to say, not the cleanest uh, prison deaths there that I've ever done, but whatever. Any valley can walk away from his good one. <laughs> Give him my health and I'm out of here. Obviously, the only thing that's going to be particularly difficult past this point is doing Fogfjord because... Well, you know. Fogfjord. I just told you why I didn't like that area. I'm thinking that to be able to beat the Watcher proper, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want to. Oh come on! Don't screw me like this. To be able to beat the Watcher proper, I'm gonna want to get like what? At minimum two more strength. That's usually about the point where it. Come on. That's usually about the point where you you're able to. There we go. You know, one of the big things with the incomplete one is that uh, you want to get on the other side of him when he does his yell so that you're not forced to take damage from his shield like this. Damn it. Oh, okay, I actually managed it. Another thing is that he can't use his shield if you're too close to him. So close to being perfect. Yeah, another thing is he, he can't use the shield if he's if you're close enough to him that you can either stun him like that or that you can uh, bait out a punch. There we go. <laughs> Smack him upside the head and we're done. Ah, shovel. I mean, I'm a big fan of any any game that has particularly goofy weapons in it. I mean, if you give him like an, R, an RPG or... Actually, I don't need to have you fill there. If you give him like an RPG where you're, where you're swinging around like a big frozen tuner or something like that, a la Tales of Symphonia, I'm talking exactly about Tales of Symphonia and nothing else. Well, in that case in particular, but I, I suppose why did also happen? Did it happen in Kingdom Hearts? I don't know. I'm always inclined to use those weapons, even though they tend to be the worst ones. At least this is a totally viable weapon. <laughs> hey, look at that. That's great. Also, nice. Throw the power immediately. I don't even have to wait around here anymore. And there we go. Back to full health. See? See? It all works out. That's dead cells for you. That's never dead cells. That's almost never dead cells. What am I even saying? I mean, it, the the game's ending is literally you just getting killed again. If not, So I, I'd say that, yeah, no, things do not work out. Things never work out. I mean, overall, it's... Wow. Come on. Those things are sometimes harder to roll through than they look like they should be. Oh, you know, I could probably still hit up the uh, clock tower if I get lucky. Let's go speedrun mode. Let's see if I can get there. No particular reason. I just like doing... If I'm going to hit up the Fog Fjord, why not see if I can get to the clock tower as a point of pride if not like any actual use our motion twin wanna put in a little reward for people that uh, go see the clock tower I mean I'm not saying that you need to I'm just saying that I'd appreciate it blah 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 same thing reads a sign flips out the door great don't do the motion let's go I think that there's actually supposed to be a key... Uh, well, more specifically, I think there was a key back in, like, the demo of this game when the game just ended as you got to the Fogfjord. Oh, boy. When this game... Uh, like, the game just ended as you got to the Fogfjord, and I think, like, sitting up on a ledge there was a key. I saw that in at least somebody's video. I don't know. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a dumb reference to that or if it's just supposed to be like, ah ha ha, look at you. You can't get in here yet. It's a secret door. For the develop Also, come on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. It's a secret door that only developers know about. There's only at least six dozen of them in the game at this point. Definitely looking forward to the next update where they introduce... By the way, I do already have a Spike Boots run in the mix. I just need to commentate over it. I don't know. <laughs> it was a fun one, too. Uh, the interesting way when the game gets uh, boiled down to interrupting attacks rather than... 
uh, just hitting them out of it with enough damage? Nah, I don't know. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the next update where they introduce Doorland. A land entirely made out of doors, most of which you can get to, or maybe not able to get to, but none of which open at all. <laughs> That's the only way the Motion Twin apparently knows how to tease anything. Ah, kid, Motion Twin, I love you. All right, get out of here already. I'm running out of. It's really not. I mean, I already got the scroll of power, so there's not too much else to do here. I mean, that's the only thing that I wanted to hit up. God, I swear, if this turns into another episode of me getting lost in the fog fjord again, which I think happens what, uh, roughly every time I'm in the fog fjord. Yeah, yeah, every time I'm in the fog. No, I've definitely already gone in there. Ugh. I have an easier time maneuvering my way through the sewers than this place here. Okay, come on. There we go. Not today, Phaser. Well, at least you get to say hi to him before I leave. Okay, time for some grave robbing. Yeah, yeah, aside from, again, that one time that I died super stupidly, yeah, it's not going too bad so far. I, I honestly expected a shovel run to be a little bit more challenging than this, cue me dying to a curse in this area. Because I'm, I'm not going to not open chests, are you kidding me? Those stats are so good. The, the only thing that I would not open chests with is the lightning bolt, and I already did that run, so... As far as I'm concerned, like... Every run possible, I'm going to be opening curse chests if they present themselves to me. What an amazing area. I can't believe it. They well, just cuz. Trick or treat. No, nothing. Oh, main character guy, you don't even have a mouth. You can't eat candy. I still find it weird this character does not have a name. I saw somebody at one point call him the Beheaded, which, you know, that's alright. Usually, if characters don't have like official names in games, I go with uh, name of game guy. You know, in the same vein as like a uh, Doom guy from the Doom series. Because I don't know why not. So, going by that logic, this is Dead Cells guy. I don't know. It's not like uh, we're really missing out on the rich lore and history of Dead Cells guy anyway, considering that this game doesn't seem to really have a story. At this point. I gotta say, that's kind of weird that they wanted to get a lot of parallels with uh, Dark Souls without actually doing any of like the bits where you learn about lore or whatever from item descriptions and you get your little uh, NPC side quest. Though I guess Spider Girl kinda has something like that. Definitely some cryptic stuff to say, but there's not too much on there. I'm always somebody that's I almost 100% focus on gameplay. I'll still pay attention to uh, whatever the game's lore is. I, I usually like seeing what's going on, even if I'm not particularly like, even if I don't car care particularly about uh, much about it compared to. Um, I guess I don't have anything else, so sure. Yeah, I always pay attention to lore, even if I'm just in it because I like the gameplay. I could sell that Impaler, but eh. I mean, I know I'm short of the 15,000 right now, but ah, whatever. I'll, I'll build that back up probably before the end of this anyway, so. Alright, that's eight. That should hopefully be enough to beat the final boss, at least. That's what I would estimate? Wow, come on. Like what, 2128? That's some pretty good damage right now. Oh boy. Oh my. I'll see you in a jump cut.
Okay, that was dumb. Anyway, I'm back. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering how I got a shovel that's that good, I have done a full run that was with no weapons, no skills, whatever. I just did that exact same thing and then came here with a... And then just bought the first decent weapon I saw. Yeah, basically that's it. And honestly, that's a pretty good weapon. Plus one strength. Yeah, that's pretty much my only criteria for a pretty good weapon. Oh, well, whatever. Anyway, you can already see that this is a significantly better build. Now, if I can just avoid dying stupidly immediately again, otherwise, another montage and more MOP. Ah. Anti-Up is a great song. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I've said before, it's like, uh, this game does turn sour almost immediately if given the chance, and, uh, hey, there you go, first, uh, first hand, come on, boy, Inquisitors, Inquisitors can either be the worst enemy in this area, or the easiest one to deal with, I would like to think that they're the easiest one to deal with, but so far, I don't know, I feel like I'm having more trouble than I should be with these guys, boy, yeah, there. See, I can just one-shot a catcher. It's like, why the... Ah. This game is unforgiving, but let's be honest, that's kind of what some of the appeal is in the first place. There. I'm getting my shovel ending, if nothing else. What's, gonna, what's a shovel ending? I don't know. Oh, come on! Hey, door. Worthless as ever. All right. Ooh. That's always something you actually have to look around this area for. Um, checking around, because there's so many little edges everywhere, you can generally find at least one or two secret uh, rune dealies. If you ever need to refresh your money, it's uh, generally a pretty good way to be able to do that. And, uh, I shouldn't, it goes without saying, but it's not, are you kidding? Ah, oh, this game sometimes. Though it goes without saying that it's not as, like, useful anymore now that your money left is capped at whatever. At 10. At 5,800 damage. I don't think I'm going to have too much trouble here beating the boss. Uh, what's, what's, what's my health? Four? Not terrible, but... Ah, that's a good dodge. Not terrible, but, like, not the best either. I think it's like when it starts with, like, five, that's... Ah, what the hell? There we go. No, well, I can actually tell you. I think it's like 500 now. Yeah, 480. And then I think it's like a thousand. Is it a thousand past that, or is it like 700? Whatever. Anyway, I, I guess the real question is, what does it matter? <laughs> like it gets to a certain point where the watcher can't even touch you. You're doing so much. Well, you have so much health on yourself. Honestly, I think that is kind of. Don't even. <laughs> I think it's kind of weird how they have, like, scaling happening. It feels, I don't know if, like, broken, but if this is... Th they've said before that it's, like, this is kind of the halfway point. Oh, that would be a really good fire torrent, actually. Oh, and I want to do a fire torrent run, but... Oh, that's... It's tough. It's not as tough as doing lightning bolt, but it is... It is a thing. It's always going. Well, really, anything that requires you to use a spell is going to be a thing. Although I think Fire Torrent's what? The last one that I have to do? It's really only Lightning Bolt and Fire. Come on, man. It's really only Lightning Bolt and Fire Torrent. Because Frost Blast, I guess I could technically do if I did the bleed damage thing, but. You know, there's. There's a point. <laughs> Oh, man. There is a point where things stop becoming fun and start getting real. And that's the real point to me. <laughs> well, I didn't know. I don't mean, like, the truthful point. I mean, that's the point where things become too real for me to want to do. Hey, right, there's Crypt. 
Let's finish up this run right now. Oi. Having to do it twice is a pain. Having to also do half of a run without any sort of weaponry is also a pain, so... And you can probably guess, uh, the number one killer in a no weaponry run is going to be shockers because you have no ability to hit them out of their animation. It's horrible. Alright, Watcher. Ah, uh, good for you, I have the perfect weapon to dig your grave. Ah, stupid. I'm thinking about, like, actually just... ...times two and then... ...doubling the speed of the Watcher fights and then just... ...I don't know, like, throwing some music over it or something, because... ...to be perfectly honest, I'm not... ...wow, am I doing a lot of damage. <laughs> Well, anything that has 10 strength tends to be, uh, I wouldn't say overpowered, but, you know, <laughs> a force to be reckoned with, I suppose. But yeah, I was thinking about just, like, throwing, uh, the water fights into overtime and just, like, throwing some music over them or something, because, honestly, there's not too much to talk about here. You see one water fight, you see them all. Oh, I think that was the first time I got hit again. I want to do another fight. Well, I guess that's going to come with the Cursed Sword run, isn't it? Oh, Cursed Sword. I want to do the Cursed Sword, because I think that's probably going to be one of the more fun runs to do, but it's also going to be one of the more stressful and just ridiculously difficult to set up, because I don't... I think the game has it... Oh, come on. I think the game has it programmed in it to... Well, here comes Bullet Hell. I think the game has it programmed in it to not let you get the Cursed Sword as a start, starting item too often too often. Or at the very least, that's how I feel. I mean, I'm sure it's probably equal chance for- Oh, stop falling off the edge! Ridiculous. Okay, I don't want to die here. For God's sake. I will take everything right now. Oh, no, didn't want to kill one because now they're good. More defense and more offense. Ugh. Oh, no, that... Damn it! <laughs> All right, two is fine to deal with as far as red, uh, red things go as long as I... Come on! No, no, that was it! That was it! Ah! Arrgh! <laughs> All right, get over here, you salty bastard. Okay. Now as long as I don't get hit with too much bullet hell, I should be fine. And there we go. Oh, boy was that way too close to another death. And I don't know if I'd have it in with another one. Hey, 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 check it out. Uh, I think this is like the most pure run I've done, considering I have no accessory, one singular weapon, and nothing else here. Eh, that's a thing. Alright, throw another one in the can, cause it's done, baby!